two people same country different region they have different opinion both of them have lived in ghana but look at one sharing the word of god i do want to go i love ghana um it's a, it's a very beautiful place <laughs> i always say hey nigeria you need to learn from ghana nigeria don't kill me <laughs> we like what you're saying ah, the, the euros get better as me past the seats at least she's not out here speaking heavily good of ghanaians but at least she don't disrespect them ladies and gentlemen i welcome you all to another video on my channel if you are new here hi my name is lillian and today i want to talk about this boy that is still here in ghana causing all sort of trouble for other nigerians this guy's videos on youtube are sparking reactions from so many ghanaians are not happy with the, what this guy is doing in ghana and the last time i talked about him i got so many people coming at me some of them are nigerians some of them claiming to be ghanaians some Nigerians using fake names come at me for for condemning the attitude of a fellow from my country and it's just start to look like you begin to wonder are Niger some Nigerians are they okay are they brain cells in their head because normally when a child does something you report that child to he or her family then the family of that child will call the child to order but i think it's not the case with many nigerians when you as a nigerian calls your fellow nigerian to order you look bad in the eyes of nigerians and a lot of people even the ones that says they are Ghanaians, coming to tell me you too like fighting you like to fight leave him alone we didn't ask you to fight for us <laughs> leave your people alone you are, in the, you are in the habit of attacking your people and all that i said okay i thought maybe a lot of people were ready to tolerate this guy but that's not the case right now this guy's videos are sparking reactions and i'm hearing voice notes from everywhere yesterday i decided to click on a video on the front page and that video is by another nigerian youtuber in ghana and i took out time because i could see people ranting so i took out time to listen to the voice notes that people are sending to that nigerian youtuber regarding the actions of this nigerian in kumasi that have refused to leave ghana but constantly a lot of ghanaians feels like nigerians are disrespecting them on purpose i mean they are not happy with what this boy is doing because this guy has a choice to either go back home or stay in ghana and just basically you don't have to respect ghanaians but don't insult them the way he's doing but he shouldn't insult them the way he's doing publicly and no one is seeing anything wrong with it when you go at this guy's comment comment section or you will see you will see nigerians people you will see people that claims to be nigerians hailing him and applauding him and telling him to keep it up both on instagram i had to try to figure out this guy so i went on instagram to search for his name sebastian on instagram is there insulting so many people the same videos you see on youtube here he has them on instagram and at the comment section of the videos on instagram his fellow nigerians or let's say nigerians from his region and other nigerian from other regions that enjoys bullying other people are there at the comment section enjoying themselves laughing and hailing him for a good job so at this point if anybody cannot see the handwriting on the wall that have been talking about say some nigerians are on mission they are on a mission to destroy the reputation of the country called nigeria maybe so that they can finally form their own when i say this i don't hate on anybody i'm not tribalistic i am just generally someone that likes to keep things real i'm going to prove to you in this video that it's not every nigerian that has the habit of looking down on Ghanaians. and now in this video i'm going to prove it by playing a video of a former nollywood actress jj bonnie who used to live in ghana and enjoyed it here in ghana jj has something to say about ghana and Ghanaians. let me play that and i will be back the next question number five he says um have you been to ghana since you became born again if yes how did you feel entering ghana as a brand new person if no do you have any fears and uncertainties of visiting ghana again um i have not been to ghana since my conversion i i want to go uh especially for ministry for preaching and sharing the word of god i do want to go i love ghana um so it's a very beautiful place <laughs> i always say hey nigeria you need to learn from ghana nigeria don't kill me <laughs> so it's a very beautiful place very lovely people 
and i do want to go back to ghana again especially for you know ministration preaching teaching the word of god any uncertainties definitely yes 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 i've shared a lot and the company that my story is about is a huge company in ghana they are not small they are huge uh, in production wise a lot of people know them i have not directly shared their name uh, if all the names that I've shared in my story, they are aliases. So I didn't directly share their name one because I want to make sure um, they have the opportunity to also repent, to get to know the Lord and all that. I don't want to implicate anybody because it is my story and I want it to focus on me and not implicating people. Um, and I don't want the controversy of releasing names. And so, when you say is there any uncertainties as a human being you have to wonder like hey these people they may come after me because they may be afraid that hey one day this girl is going to open her mouth and directly call our names and also there are times that people will just go to my movies and figure out the company and figure out the director and everything just by searching through my movie like for example when i say oh we came from the gambia and all that people will be like oh what movie has she done in the gambia and they can pick that up and figure everything out themselves and so there is this thought like okay these people could come after me if they want to because they feel like i've exposed to them the thing about kingdoms especially the kingdom of darkness they don't like to be exposed uh-huh they say sin thrive in secret sin thrive in darkness and so there is some thought in my mind like hey if the lord sent me to ghana for preaching for evangelism for teaching the word of god are these people going to come after me but i'm not afraid because i have the king of kings i have his protection there's no greater protection than the almighty god so if god sent me to ghana for ministry work i know he will protect me um and yeah i think that's my only uncertainty but i love ghana it's a very beautiful place beautiful people and i'll definitely love to go to ghana for ministry work for people that do not know that in nigeria we have many states and tribes and cultures and tradition we have so many um difference in cultures and a lot of things are not Forget the Nollywood films you see. These are people from a particular tribe projecting everything and rubbing it on all Nigerians. That is not the Nigerian culture. The one you have been seeing on Nollywood is a section of Nigeria, some tribes in Nigeria, some regions in Nigeria, you know, coming out to portray all these things in the name of Nigeria as a whole. JJ Bonny is from Benway State at the middle bed part of Nigeria. I, Lillian, is from the south-south part of Nigeria. And then sometimes I go on YouTube on purpose to see a Nigerian that is talking down on other African countries. I'll see them, but none is from any other place other than some particular tribes, other than some region, the same region in Nigeria. And when you come up to say, oh, please, they will say, okay, you are being tribalistic. This is when people start to feel the need to be angry with my videos. All the while I have been, you know, saying Nigerians, Nigeria, I didn't call it by its name. I didn't call evil by its name. Some people were cool. As long as you didn't point fingers, you didn't call evil by its name. People are not angry. The moment is okay. Now this person, they do this thing. People go verse for you. And it's becoming very, it's becoming frustrating. Your effort as a Nigerian, putting in your best to do what is right, maybe it will make a difference. You have other Nigerians that are on a mission to destroy your own attitude, to destroy everything, to to cancer to surpass you so that they can shine bright in a different form and people continue to hate on every nigerian when i say it you because they know that if i if somebody will point out they will say oh you are being tribalistic all right jj bonnie is from benway i am from cross river and it's hard to see anyone from other places sitting down opening their lights wah wow, and their microphone to spill rubbish about other people i think some cultures in nigeria let me educate you on this there are cultures in nigeria that don't condemn the attitude of their people no matter what you do yeah when you do something you can kiss somebody 
in your father's land or any other place, anywhere in Nigeria or anywhere in the world, if you can run to your mother's home, to your mother's family, your mother's community, you'll be protected. You'll not be persecuted. No one will harm you. You'll not be given to the police. They will keep you. Do you understand? So whatever they may have done, it doesn't matter. As long as they come home, they are above the law. They are well protected. And I think that is what we are working on. I mean, that is what we are working with. No Nigerian. Have you seen anybody come to condemn this guy? Nobody, except maybe just a few of us. And when we, because we are not from these cultures, people will say, okay, you are hating, you are being tribalistic. This guy is still here at the Ashanti region. He has refused to leave Ghana, yet he's being so disrespectful. I'm going to play just a clip from his latest video, and I'll be back as always. Keep watching. Do you like what you're seeing? Do you like this? Mm. This is... Ooh. It's euros. Um, I think this 20, 50 euros, 1,000 Ghana cities. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can make money as a Nigerian in Ghana. Uh, the, the euros get better since the past day, cities. Sick and tired about some YouTubers and some um, Ghanaians at large that feel Nigerians cannot make money in Ghana, and be a shut up your petty mouth. Shut up, don't things that you don't know, don't say it. Ghanaians are intimidated by Nigerians. If we forget, we forget our square square for our own country, we get, we forget square square. So, despite this so much hostility from Ghanaians upon the Nigerian race, I'm a Nigerian see the go. You know why? You get with the Nigerian man, they see where Ghanaians in the scene, and that's in our share gift. I told Nigerians we want to come Ghana, come. This time around, I've been trying to say no, come, Abby. Come. You understand that some people are on a mission to destroy your effort as a Nigerian because they don't care. They will destroy this effort of yours, like all your hard work all your good behavior, they will rubbish it. They will use their own to surpass you. And the people are all sitting quiet. Nobody is talking. Anyways, for me, I'm still waiting for Sonny Chima because I know I'm expecting a video from Chima to come and make excuses for this boy. Eh, uh, he didn't say this, he said this. He will even Sonny Chima, I hope you if you don't if you are a fan of Sonny Chima, tag him, share this video to him. Chima, your brother is waiting for you to come and defend him. I hope you do it because the last time Chima defended a reverend father and a tiktok girl who referred to Ghana as honorary and common the sad part for me about this sonny chima is that he does not just defend who, he defame those of us that speaks against these people this behavior he defame you so chima even defended an a supposed arm robber i don't know if that guy uh, now nah, i'm not saying that guy was an arm robber or is an arm robber but i saw him in the video and that that video was trending everybody could see that this guy was acting weird he was acting strange in the midst of i mean people are running locking their doors but this guy was trying to open the door maybe so that the robbers can gain access to the vehicle or what or to go join them chima sat down made a video <laughs> interpreting what the guy was saying and at least he spoke his language a lot of people were like hey it's not he's not from their place it's from another at least chima made a video waiting for this one to chima to come and defend this boy from your place come oh another of your brother have done it again you people are doing well and but i tell you it's just a matter of time nigeria this set of nigerians are going to succeed because i don't think it's fair because with the way some Ghanaians are reacting to this guy's attitude on youtube i am seeing something to me it's beginning to look like yeah this is a setup and for you if you're a Ghanaian, i want you to know that this is the time for you to prove yourself as you have always been peaceful loving and patient because this is something that is being thrown at, at you on purpose this is just a set of persons set of people coming to use the strategy of the nigerian image to torture you to disrespect you so that you can say okay, enough is enough everybody should go you stage a protest and they, you, you put pressure on your government they will have no choice but to, to repeat history they will have no choice but to repeat history remember now that is what everybody is targeting at 
this is I, for me if you ask me i think this is it because if not we have so many youtubers from this region how many people have spoken against this boy or at the comment section then tomorrow we'll come and say hey lily you are being travelistic i'm not i'm just calling it as it is and this is because let me tell you a story as a young girl in my village my mom always punished me for the sins of my siblings if my mom goes out and tell us oh this is what you should do before i get back by the time she comes back I and maybe one or two of my sisters will get this thing done, but one person or two out of us will refuse to do it. But when my mom comes back, she punishes everybody. So one day I told her, what is the need of me? Why, why should I bother to continue to do what you are asking me to do when you punish me because my sister or my brother refused to do it? Why I can as well just, just not do it so I can be punished. And I went further to tell her, try to punish people in accordance. Try to apportion blame right don't rob you are you afraid of your kids tell them you you did this wrong and this is why i'm punishing you don't punish all your kids because one of your child refused or went against you refused to do what you've asked them to do or just for, don't punish people because of you know don't punish all of your kids because one of your child refused to obey you you'll be wondering did your mom stop no she didn't up to date my mom is still like that if i report any of my siblings to my mom she would tell me you people you people she don't know how to call somebody by her name and say you don't do this what you did is wrong no my mom will gather all of us and blame us you that went to report to my mom to her you know seeking some form of justice comfort you know you won't get it. He'll blame you together with the person you all report. So, so this is where I started to hate. This, this was how I start to hate when people can call evil by its name, even though it's risky. For me now, I've been reported in my neighborhood. Someone in my neighborhood has reported me to other of my neighbors, reported my YouTube videos to them. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, but <laughs> nothing will happen to me for the Lord God Almighty, the God of truth will protect me. And if God fails to protect me, no problem. A lot of people do not know what I do for a living over here. It's just that one person that knows about my YouTube channel. So the person all of a sudden just went because I advise so I say, please tune it down on something that if I share here, it's, it's bad. Tune it down. This person went to tell everybody after accusing me of being judgmental, the person is telling the whole neighbors, Nigerians, of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, but I'm not afraid because I have God. And if God fails to protect me, it simply means he did not fail. He just allowed me to play the script of my destiny. I will call evil by its name. Ghanaians, this is a setup for you. They want you to repeat history. For me, I'm not afraid of being sent back to Nigeria. I come from a loving and peaceful community. Look at AJ, JJ Bonnie from another region in Nigeria, being able to just basically just said what she said about other people. Now, nobody is forcing this guy to be nice to Ghanaians, but at least you can help yourself and your people by just not being disrespectful. I always tell people, we don't have to fight before we break up. If we don't like each other, we should part ways at least, maybe peacefully. But you don't have to wait to fight people, to strangle each other, to rubbish each other's reputation before you can say, okay, ah, mm, I want to part ways. I feel like that is too much you know that is too much effort and destruction just to achieve i mean when i can i can just walk away it's when i see that we are not compatible and this is the case of this guy this guy could go back to nigeria or just do his videos positive reviews about nigeria his country a lot of people accuse some of us of putting nigeria down but we don't even say the things that this boy is saying to people that hold him nothing a country that holds this boy nothing this guy is not a refugee. There's no war going on back home in Nigeria. That was okay. These are refugees. So they have nowhere else to go. They are here. This guy is here on purpose, willingly, just basically just on his willow, willingly in Ghana. So why don't you go back to Nigeria? Are you being forced to be here? No. So this is a setup for you Ghanaians. And this is why I keep telling people, judge people in accordance, judge every Nigerian you see. According to the attitude of that Nigerian, judge every Nigerian according to the attitude of this, each according to their attitude, not 
generalize. I know you may have met 11 Nigerians and out of this 11, 10 of them have failed you. And then you now think, oh, it's because all of you are like that. We are not like that too. In Ghana here, the people that speaks my language, I know about four of us that are here in Ghana. One of them, again, we are five. Let's say, let me just add this boy to say five because him, He's partly from another region. His mother is from my place. But what I'm seeing there is not my people. He doesn't, it's not, it doesn't, there's nothing of him that represents where I come from. There's nothing of him that represents. I just withdraw. So the remaining four, which is me and one other guy that is a gospel musician in Ghana. He works with a church in Ghana because his church brought him here. And another of my, pers another person again from my own tribe from my tiny tribe you see here as a teacher in ghana he is a graduate from the university of lagos he, even, he has a master degree you see as a teacher for one other person i don't know what he she does and the only person i can speak what she's here for is someone that said she's in ghana but at the time we talked she was in nigeria so i don't know why she's in ghana but when other people want to judge us all of us they will judge us based on other people's behavior if i want to be calling evil by its name ego badu there are some nigerians also a popular tribe i mean majority tribe the only time you see them team up with some region with some nigerians is when they are insulting Ghanaians during election call. They are not in fact they hate they even murder each other they kill each other during elections they don't agree yeah, because they believe the other one is not it's not supposed to be here so you don't have a say this is a country that is there so they live there you as an Ashanti man you can live as you can live in a crowd for instance you can live in a crowd now where it is believed that this land has another tribe you know like a cry here where we have more of the Ga people, but you can see an Ashanti man ex excelling there, having rights there. Ask all these people, they don't have rights back in Lagos. They don't get rights. You can't cough during election. The only time they are coughing and working together is when they are hating on Ghanaians. Now we're done. Cultures in Nigeria that a lot of people are not aware of are working against all Nigerians. I mean, they have some tribes, some part of Nigeria. I mean, there are some region in Nigeria where their person is always right including even when they commit murder they are right if you can run to your mother's hometown to your mother's family you are safe you won't be persecuted for the sin you have committed somewhere the person you murdered and all that doesn't matter as long as you come home to your family your mother's people and i think a lot of people are you know covering these people up based on that maybe after doing this video I don't know who will come for me. You will sow every seed you sow, every single seed you sow, you will reap. Because it still does not make any sense to me that you leave your country, you come sit down for Ghana, they insult these people. Why? Do they deserve it? Is it that? Why, why don't we leave this attitude at home? Where in Nigeria, when you are loyal, simple, easygoing, loving, and easy, you're full of trust, many people will never respect you. They just tag you illiterate mm -hmm. and of course you are poor you need favor so that is why you are humble because you are not supposed to be humble to prove that you are educated and you are rich you're supposed to be arrogant the world is closing its door against us every day and then you come and sit down and console yourself <laughs> we are the best entertainment who entertainment help tell me tell me one person when they seek very well say you won't die they go carry the video, make it come sing for you. The person wake because of that. You start to work out. The person well. No, show me one. That is what we are using to console ourselves, celebrating. And don't we have, don't, sometimes I wonder, don't, funny enough, is making every Nigerian to look like we don't have sense. Because even the people that I know personally that have sense, now I'm wondering, where are they? Why can't these people come and talk to this boy? Where is everybody? Because it, does, it still doesn't make sense. If you like, it hates me. I can sit down and talk about my mother. She's my mother. But I don't have the right to sit down and talk about another person's mother. It is no. It's wrong. It, we have to stop it. But it's okay. You guys can continue. If it happened, when they say Nigerians must go, all of us go, they go. Me, I will go to my village peacefully. Peaceful place. Go there. Some of your people are there hiding there. They are building houses there. They say they don't want to go home because... They, they are, everybody is running away, coming there. And when it happened for Ghana, trust my people now, everybody, when they, they go, go, 
we we can depend on our land we farm and eat our food get educated by those that are educated from our place we are not even we don't even ask for much it's just a few rebels a few a few people like me from my tribe that comes out the rest are okay they they work they depend on the land for their food and they depend on the government they offer labor to the government and get paid for it the peanuts that the government gives them they use it to take care of themselves and depend on the land for food <laughs> since a lot of people have made up their mind that they won't stop until nigeria must go happen in ghana now this guy what can be done to this guy nothing with the Ghanaian government now arrest this guy eh? nigerians will start writing they will go to newspaper and write that they have arrested you see what is going on how do we deal with this kind of person is it not to come with you as his brother as someone wouldn't you advise this guy at least at the comment section to tell him don't do this is wrong why do we continue to disgrace ourselves like this if this guy was to be in south africa do you know that by now <laughs> i don't you can't even do this in south africa he can't dare this in south africa cameroon he can't do it he cannot do it in cameroon he cannot do it in cameroon constantly the only people that do you think is fair that you constantly do you think it's fair to look down on people that respects you people that tolerates you don't you think you are getting you are doing too much you are gradually getting on their nerves and um, usually people that don't act all the time when they act they do it over don't you think it's too much a word is enough for the wives bash me down there at the, at the comment section as a nigerian but remember remember that today i have done this video you like you say hey, you're doing it for the views the views that you accuse me of looking for i know how to get it it's just basically do a video that has that don't have anything to do with nigerians go on my channel and see my highest viewed video has nothing to do with nigerians my second most viewed video has nothing to do with nigerians my Ghanaians don't like when i sit down and condemn my people some Ghanaians don't like it they advise other nigerians not to do it they should allow lily lily is full of trouble she likes to fight they don't like it so when you accuse me of doing this for the views i'm wondering like you say waiting are you talking to me <laughs> you sit down and watch somebody from your place if you know the commissioner if you if you know the high commissioner of of nigeria in ghana report this boy to to him report this guy to the agency Re what this guy is doing is provoking people and even the bible condemns provocation for those who come and tell me eh, yeah, there's nothing like god please this is my own belief i am a christian and i want that to be respected whatever you believe in is for you i believe in god through jesus and that is it it doesn't matter if i look stupid to you that is another disrespect and is wrong this guy is still in ghana he's not paying tax is he paying tax is illegal in ghana you're not supposed to work by the way did this guy know that he's not supposed to work he doesn't have any documents one day you people remember that i've said all these things maybe by then i wouldn't be saying it again i'm done i'll be done i'll be tired many of you will come and say <laughs> I wonder why they're not giving us house. You're still wondering? Are you still wondering why they don't give you a house? And this is just small. Old. My landlord was not like this. Now he has joined Ghanaian landlords that are no longer renting to Nigerians. They have knocked that one down. More are coming. Uh, how do we address this issue? Is it not time? All the energy you used to team together to insult Ghanaians, why don't you put it together to advise your people to say, don't do this? you can't be leaving this for me alone to do it is wrong you people you, there's nothing you can do to me Sha. any day you plan it say you think in last so you say you think i'm say you you sleep you dream say now me god will hold you you will turn back and turn against yourself i've always told you because if we continue like this peace will be far from us because there can never be peace where where there is no justice no peace in the absence of justice no peace no peace without justice address this guy talk to this boy if there's something you can do to get this boy out of ghana do it or simply tell him to change the type of videos that he's doing nobody's asking him to praise Ghanaians because of course some people are from the wisest tribe they can never speak good of others because if they do that 
they are speaking down on their own so it's fine not to speak good of Ghanaians. what about you don't speak anything ill about you don't just basically just target them like you're doing this is disrespectful it's only a matter of time people will discover that this boy what this boy is doing is on a mission a mission <laughs> is on a mission you see them come they scatter everywhere how many youtubers have come to ghana and uh, the new pandemic that is coming more nigerians are moving to ghana they are coming and they are coming to become youtubers respect other people otherwise no peace for you you cost me it will come back to you because i'm tired i'm sick i am so sick and i'm tired two people same country different region they have different opinion both of them have lived in ghana but look at one i do want to go i love ghana um it's a, it's a very beautiful place <laughs> i always say hey nigeria you need to learn from ghana nigeria don't kill me <laughs> so it's a very beautiful place very lovely people uh, do you like this mm. this, this is like thousand ghana cities do you like what you see? Tell you how you can make legit. Ah. Ah, do, you, do you always get better as me and pass the things? At least she's not out here speaking heavily good of Ghanaians, but at least she don't disrespect them. Respect other people. Otherwise, there is no peace. If you are a Nigerian and you are okay up there, you are okay. I don't want to cost you because if I say Nigeria should happen to you, the last time I told somebody, may your heart be broken. His entire village got destroyed. If I begin to say, may, may you get, may, may your children get what you are giving to other people. May your children get what you are giving to other people. The disrespect that you ditch to other people. May your children be disrespected that way. Will you be able to say amen? When I talk, you say it's the views. I lived in Nigeria and I was doing my YouTube videos from there. Nobody can, see, they have come from the part of Nigeria. If you come there, you say you want to harm me. That's when you people will know that it's not, it's not by size and it's not by money. Some of us, we have been taught to respect other people, not because we are weak, but it's the right thing to do. My people, my, my people will tell you, do your part, leave the rest. Yes, do your part, respect other people. I am done with this video.